it's I'll give you another I'll give you another example. Um, there was a study done. I can't recall exactly the information, but there was a tribal group in Africa. Again, I'm not sure where, but they were still they still believed in witchcraft. So they still believed that people would be possessed and that a sickness similar to a common cold and things like that was actually a possession. And they would do some pretty radical things to help try and help the possessed person, whereas it was actually a common cold. So what they had to, so, and as much as people were coming to try and tell them, you need to take medicine, you need to get to a doctor, you need a shot, you need antibiotics. It was not getting through because the, the belief that it was caused by a demon or another spiritual force outside their body was that strong that you couldn't, you can't uproot that. You couldn't sell them on modern medicine because it just, it wasn't even in their, under their range of understanding. So they actually found a way using, they actually found a way to, they, they merged it with, with voodooism and with like, with the voodooism that they had and with their shamans and how they, and they managed to find a way to merge that together to merge that this is a medicine from you know i'm talking about in, in really rough <laughs> really rough mm -hmm. terms i can't remember the exact paper but they managed to take that and apply the concept to what they already understood and so then they were able to understand okay this is something that's beneficial and then slowly slowly they were able to help them warm up to the idea of modern medicine so that's kind of the that's as well the idea again if it's outside of some if someone believes the sky is purple, you can't come and tell them the sky is blue. They kind of look at you like you're nuts. Even if it is blue, they believe with all their hearts and minds that it is purple. So rather than saying, rather than trying to fight with them, rather than trying to come and conquer, you know, um, trying to conquer this customer and tell and force them to believe that it is, use what use their understanding and show them how they can get to your understanding. As well, it's really kind of <laughs> reflexive. It's a lot. There's a lot of. Um, it's a really. It goes in really deep here. Again, it's a lot. It's based on a lot of philosophy. Um, Interesting. That's a really extreme example of the voodoo, but it sums up yeah. what you said really well. <laughs> that whatever you're talking to, whoever your customer is, finding the common language that they understand and they can understand what you're saying by putting it into the language that they use every day will help you get. Um, a better traction and a better retention because they they'll understand that you understand where they're coming from. 